This is Michael Wilson. The Dangerous Equality Act is back before Congress. Can it be stopped again? Amy Contrada, uh, reporting for thestream.org, uh, alerts us that the LGBTQ Equality Act, uh, House uh, Bill 15, is back. The dangerous bill was introduced in Congress on June 21st, 2023. H.R. 15 would amend the Federal Civil Rights Act of 1964, embedding the LGBTQ plus lexicon into the nation's civil rights law. Now, that, that's just, that's outrageous. Um, the leftist media uh, portray this bill as protection for oppressed sexual minorities, but it's actually a massive attack on the rights of the majority. It would criminalize anyone who refuses to go along with LGBTQ rights in the workplace, public accommodations, healthcare facilities, schools, and colleges. Even churches would be affected. What? Yes, churches would be affected. The Equality Act would wipe away recent pro-family victories around the country. Some example, states have ban banned sex change medical treatment for supposed transgender children would now be forced to allow those practices. State bans on boys' participation in girls' sports teams would be overturned. Challenges to pornography, LGBTQ books in the school, and local libraries would be considered illegal discrimination. And elective therapy for sexual uh, issues, mislabeled con conversion therapy, would be banned. Freedom of, of religion is also in the crosshairs. The bill erases the Federal Religious Freedom Restoration Act protections, meaning that churches, schools, shelters, daycare centers, adoption agencies, everyone would be forced to comply with the LGBTQ agenda. So would hate speech laws soon follow? We have come to this point. Uh, for years, the left has allowed to control the language. The right has accepted the new LGBTQ lexicon without seeming to understand the power that these words carry. And now these ghastly concepts are embedded in the Equality Act. It would radically amend the 1964 Civil Rights Act with fluid terms which all appear in the Equality Act. Sexual orientation, gender identity, homosexuality, bisexuality, transgender, gender, non-binary, queer, and LGBTQ. And they're purposely left undefined. It's just whatever somebody thinks it means. A Liberty Council who's looked at this explains the Q is especially concerning because of the racial perversions that become, uh, because of the radical perversions that would become protected classes. And so it, it's also an abortion nightmare. As Liberty Council describes, the bill orders changes to section 1101 of the title uh, 11 uh, of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, making all abortion a federal right. So it's a trail of half-hearted uh, conservative opposition so far, and there's a real danger of it passing this time. The bill would allow to come up for a vote uh, on the House. Well, maybe if we're lucky, Speaker McCarthy will keep it bottled up in committee. But 47 House Republicans voted for the federal gay marriage bill in December of 22. Suppose a large group of Republicans pushed for a vote on the Equality Act. It would have to come to the floor, and the bill would be proposed to pass based on those numbers. Previous versions of the Equality Act in 2019 and 2021 did in fact pass, pass the House. This time, two, 212 House Democrats are co-sponsoring it. So only a few uh, rhino votes would really be needed to reach a majority. 
So after that, one would think that with the 60 vote threshold of the Senate, the Senate would be saved. But no, the Respect for Marriage Act passed 61-36 last November, and the Senate is considered to be even worse now. Biden would, of course, sign it. He said he would in uh, the 2023 State of the Union address. And so there's going to be a massive push by corporate America and leftist organizations to get this passed. We're up against some incredible forces, but take heart. Jesus has won the victory. It's up to his followers to stand in the breach and oppose this. Uh, The nonpartisan Public Religion Research Institute found that the national support for a bill like the Equality Act topped 70% of Americans, which includes the majority of Democrats, Republicans, and independents. It's, It's been endorsed by more than 650 organizations, including civil rights, education, healthcare, and faith-based organizations. So there's a strong business support for this bill. So we can't gamble that the Equality Act won't come up for a vote. We need to check and see where our congressmen are on this issue, particularly the 47 turncoat, turncoat House Republicans who voted for the federal gay marriage bill this last December. If so, tell them to oppose the Equality Act. Contact the Republican House leadership and ask them to block it. Let's hope it's not too late to stop this bill. So please spread awareness of its threat and encourage every congressman and senator to oppose it. So again, hat trick to Amy Contrada. She's been with uh, Mass Resistance org since its founding in 2004 and she's the author of corrupt bargains how gay marriage began in massachusetts and the health hazards of homosexuality and another uh, book passing the trash she's currently testing elon musk uh, commitment for free speech on x